Hey, what's up everybody? So welcome back to the part number five. Hopefully this is gonna be the last part of the video. So as you've seen the last video where we are able to fetch the record on based off the ID and you see the data is populated inside the form. And now I'm gonna create the update functionality where we are able to update the data. So let's gonna write our very first API in Laravel. So I'm gonna go inside my Laravel project and right inside the contact controller, I'm gonna define my update contact method. So let's gonna write your first method. So public function and define here update contact and make sure that in this case, it's gonna pass two things here. So first is gonna be the ID and the request that is gonna pass in. So let's pass here the ID and the request. And before I should go here, I need to copy the method from my routes and define for the update contact. So this should gonna be a post request and I'm gonna change the name of the uh, your request route, it should be update underscore contact and make sure it should pass the ID as well. And uh, I also need to change the name of the method to be update contact. All right, so right inside here, this method should, so first we are gonna get the ID of the data that we need to update. So I'm gonna write here the variable contact equal to contact. And let's define here the where clause and define here the ID and the ID that we need to update. And the first method is actually gonna take the only first row of the uh, data or the ID that we need to fetch. So, because we don't need the collection, we don't need the get method, we need the first. So only it's gonna fetch the single record for us. So right down here, I'm gonna copy it from my safe contact. Everything looks very much identical, however, the thing that we need to change is that the contact updated successfully, all right? So this is gonna be all fine from here. And I also need to ch remove this from here. So we don't need to create here any new requests just like the save contact. All right, so let's gonna test from the postman. So I'm gonna open up my postman already. I have a previous request. So I'm gonna change that to update underscore contact. So, so slash update underscore contact and let's pass here the URL that I need to change the request, uh, the data for this. So I'm gonna pick up the 97 you see here. So this is gonna be the ID. So let's gonna place it right up here. So it should be 97 and everything looks fine. So let's change the type of the request, which is post. And I need to go to my headers first. So make sure, let me just move this down a bit. So you see here, we inside the headers, make sure the content type should be application slash JSON, go inside your body and right inside here, you can, you need to do is to make sure you change the, uh, uh, the type to be of raw. So I already choose that. And let's go inside up here. So basically, if you, uh, I need to show you one more thing here. If I just want to make this smaller, uh, if I just try to zoom, uh, zoom out just for your clarification, so it should be that raw. So because I have zoom in, so because of its responsiveness, so it might confuse you. So right inside the JSON, all I need is just bring up those parentheses inside that and bring your very first parameter, which should be the name, which is the key and let's change the value. So I'm gonna change that to Bob name. So right now it's test, if I'm gonna show you, you see here is the test Gmail. So we're gonna update all the records. So let's uh, move into the postman and I'm gonna write up here the email. Let's change that to Bob at the rate gmail.com. Next we have the designation. Let's change that to um, uh, senior I'm so sorry about the spellings. So senior software engineer. And the last one is gonna be the contact number. You can put up anything, right? So I'm gonna add up here 888 and something. All right, so we are all good to go. And let's, uh, first I'm gonna test this out if everything looks great okay yeah so i just click on the send request and you see now it's going to show us that contact updated successfully with the status code of 200 which means that it's successful so let me go into my browser and go into the contact listing refresh this and you see all the data is updated successfully so we are done with the api part of this of this uh, part number five. So this is gonna be the first section where we cover up with the update uh, API in Laravel. So I'm gonna 
take a very short break, right? So I will be right back for the next section. All right, guys, so let's jump into the update functionality inside your view project and open up the source and components. Let's choose the added contact dot view. And that's where we have to uh, perform our update functionality. So the first thing that I'm going to do is let's go inside your form tag and define here at the rate uh, submit dot prevent. And let's define here the function of the name, which is in my case should be update contact. And let's define here no validate so that we don't have any validation for the HTML side. All right, so I'm going to create here a method with the name of update contact. So let me go down here and define that. So where this method ends, it's end over here. So I'm going to create here a method with the name of update contact. And as I explained, the validation and everything looks very identical. So I'm going to open up my add contact dot view and grab a few things from here. So let me uh, grab everything which is inside this save contact. So I'm going to copy that up and even just copy this and I just need to replace that and, and change the name of the method. So now it should be update contact. All right. So the validation is fine and everything looks fine. So I need to change the name of the route. Um, so the update, uh, the route in my case is the update underscore contact and we have to pass here the dynamic ID so for that I need to simply pass slash and I need to wrap that inside the dollar so it should be this dot dollar route dot params dot ID but I have to whenever we are going to pass some uh, some dynamic ID so I need to wrap that inside with the help of tilde which is left to the number one all right, so that's fine. And I also need to check everything looks fine. So post, it should be uh, if that response is 200, which is coming from the API, the state is 200. That means it's going to clear all the values in. And uh, we have a message with the help of the backend API. In order, if I'm going to show you my Postman request, you see here we have the message and the code. And what have actually happened behind the scenes that if the response dot status which is the object which passed from the uh, uh, which is passing from the response. So if that status means that if it's successfully 200, all the values should be cleared up. But in the case of the added, we don't need that. So let me remove this too because we once we uh, update the value, it should keep that inside the text field. And next, this coming from the response dot data dot message, and that's the message that is going to display it from this the uh, contact updated successfully. That's how we can actually get the object so if that it doesn't match so it's going to catch the error and display the response error so right on top it's all the validation which i have explained if you guys still have issues you can watch that save contact the part number hopefully two where i have explained this so you guys could uh, get an idea how i have worked with the validation explain all from the scratch so let's go and test this out so i'm going to open up my uh, very first record and I'm going to change that to simply John and also change that email to be John at the rate gmail.com remove this one from here and also this too. Now if I just try to click on the submits button and you see it's going to show us the message that contact updated successfully and if I just try to refresh this it's going to still keep that all updated data. If I go back here to my home listing and you see the data is uh, updated successfully. So we have performed all the correct functionality and you guys learned something new, all the CRUD full stack video. This is gonna be the video which is very special, which is hard to find on YouTube. with such a great explanatory video. So don't guys forget to watch this entire all series and also share and like this video. So that's it guys. And in the later part, I've been planning to make an authentication with the Laravel and view. So I'm going to create this uh, in the coming time, right? So that's it, guys, and I hope you like, and I want to see you for the next time.